हेलो 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 तू फोन पे जब है आई Welcome to today's video. As the title may have told you, today's video is going to be all about being into makeup, but on a budget. So this Christmas, this December, this New Year's Eve, if you're looking to do some makeup shopping or usage based on some really good items on a budget, I'm going to help you with this. Now I have to start off with telling you that putting together the list of makeup for this particular video. was really challenging because i'm really good at the under 1000 stuff i'm really good at the slightly high end luxury stuff also but under 500 is quite tough um the brands that are able to do under 500 products in general are always really big giant companies who mass produce so much that they can afford to have things at under 500 so i just want to give you a little bit of a business perspective now that i understand this side a little bit better i want to share my vishesh tippadi with you over here huh? but i love some of these brands and the products that i'm using today are products that i do genuinely like and i'm open to using and do use as well so let me not make this intro any longer and Let's just start with the makeup. Okay, so now we're going to get started and we're going to dive straight into like the color cosmetics part of this video. I have the Lakme foundation over here. This Lakme foundation has really 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 won my trust over um the last not just months, I think maybe over the last year. Um I did a complete wear test for it a while back. It is super light on the pocket like it's unbelievable how light on the pocket it is and um, it does a fantastic job with just blending on really easy you can see i haven't taken too much product just a few just literally that one spatula move that also half cuz nikalte waqt what i tend to do with my uh, with this is i tend to wipe it on one side over here so it's literally just this side the front side that i land up using all across my face um it really really has won my trust i know i did a detailed wear test for this a while back and all of that but you know more and more with usage even i've realized i really like this product it's so easy to use it blends on super easy nicely it's a beautiful shade match um i did a couple of collabs with lakme recently like over the past couple of months and got my hands on a couple more so at the moment i literally have three of these foundations extra um i really really enjoy using this product and in fact i've got in a couple of my friends onto it as well if you are someone that wants to skip like primer and just jump onto a foundation you can go ahead and use this make sure you use a moisturizer though don't skip moisturizing please don't skip prepping prepping your skin is super important because you don't apply you know product on bare skin on your face so please make sure you actually do use the moisturizer primer you can skip cuz this particular foundation is like a foundation cum primer so that's totally okay okay i landed up adding a little bit more foundation for my forehead and nose because i realized i hadn't used enough product over here at all and while i switched to blending with a sponge which is a brand new sponge by the way i realized that this is also something that's totally under 500 rupees i think i paid just under 300 rupees for it i bought it from mintra i'm going to go ahead and link each and every item down below as i always do um nothing is sponsored in this video and we do have a giveaway in this video so make sure you guys stick around all the way till the end because all through vlogmas there's going to be giveaways in every single one of these 25 videos okay my foundation feels nicely blended out um constantly in the dilemma of brush versus sponge you guys as much as i love using my sponges I'm also like I don't want to have to wash my hands or wipe my hands or whatever my hands in the middle because I find it annoying that I'm touching the product. It's just one of those hygiene things that I have in my head that ticks off, which is why I try to use brushes, but I haven't met a brush yet that really gives me the full-fledged finish, the airbrushed finish of what a sponge gives me. Um for concealer, I am going over to my very very trusty Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I use this in the shade 25 medium. I really love the way this goes on to the under eyes. If you have really really grey under eyes, you will need a corrector to go with this. However, what I'm doing today is just wearing this by itself. I don't think I need any corrector at the moment, but of course, if I feel like there's a little too much greyness peeking through, if there's any ashiness, then I will go ahead and add some corrector in. 
literally look at the magic between just using a step like concealer over here everything looks brightened concealed highlighted and over here you can see the slight grayness that i have and the under eye issue that i have even with fillers that i just recently got and i know i vlogged about it and told you guys all about it i still very much do need my concealer in fact apart from concealer i still very much do use my under eye creams twice a day even now because the concealer helps with the lift uh, sorry the filler not the concealer the the filler helps with the lifting right the shape of the face it does not lighten my skin by any standard uh, by lighten i don't mean to be or sound fairness obsessed at all what i'm talking about strictly is from the point of view of a uh, dark circle situation that i have going on which is also genetic to be honest um so apart from the fact that i make sure i get good sleep and all of that good stuff this is a genetic issue which is why i even decided to go ahead and do the fillers so it does help me with my bags it helps me with my under eye situation in general okay now that i'm done with concealer you know that i have fine lines on my under eyes and they come up no matter what i do however i did really really please forgive me please forgive me please forgive me i did really really struggle with finding a loose powder under 500 rupees but 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 i'm not cheating by like a big margin what i have over here is 530 rupees if i remember correctly Do I remember correctly? Thirty rupees, no. So I basically have two items: this and another item that will come up at some point, which are just about five hundred rupees. I will obviously throw up their real prices, MRPs on the screen for every single product through the video. I'm really sorry, but I need the loose powder, and I can't like just go on without it. Lines will come. And it's time for the giveaway in this vlogmas video. Go ahead and read all of the instructions mentioned on the screen really carefully and follow them to the T to be able to win this giveaway. All the best. I'm using the loose powder in the shade Olive. This is from K by Katrina. Um this is a brand that I genuinely really enjoy using. I really like this loose powder. It's really cool especially for the price. Um and I like their contour sticks as well. There are quite a few products that I do enjoy using from this range. Okay so a bunch of you guys actually reached out to me around the time of the Kebaya Katrina foundation launch to do a thorough review of the foundation. You guys know I buy products to review for you like literally all the time. That foundation somehow I did not land up getting my hands on. I can't exactly remember why and I didn't land up receiving it in PR either. Um but I will try and get my hands on it sometime soon. I have tried it like a friend of mine had it and I did try it out so I know that it's got a really nice sheer medium type coverage situation going on it but i have not really tried it full fledged on my face as such so i'll try and buy it really soon and do a review for you it's just that i blanked up buying so many other foundations recently i bought the laura mercier uh, skin tint i bought the giorgio armani luminous silk which i know i mentioned to you guys in a couple of videos and in the vlog as well i think at some point um that i didn't land up buying this because i only like to buy a certain amount of product for myself every other month or every month and uh, I don't know how that product kind of just missed my god but I'll try it soon and try to do a review or unless if you think you've already got enough reviews from other creators on the internet that's totally okay you can tell me um in the comments either way I have another K product over here probably my favorite K by Katrina product when I tell you this is my favorite I mean like I do like a lot of product from the brand as you see me use um but this has to be hands down Why is it focusing? There we go. It's focusing finally. I think um, this has to be my favorite K by Katrina product. This is the eyebrow pencil, and I think I use this in the shade hazelnut. Yeah, um, I really, really like this product. I feel like it's not too waxy. It gets the job done really easily. I'm not gonna lie. I do wish they had a little spoolie situation going on the other side or something like that, just so that the product would be just full. by itself you know what i mean like fully equipped i do need to go into another brush or a spoolie or something after i'm done using this pencil because you just kind of have to to comb your brow hairs out but i really like the application of this it's literally hands down one of the best brow pencils i've used in a very very long time it fills up um the brow hair really quickly and easily and the texture is really nice too Also, major props for getting the shades for the brows really well too. Because I feel like some brands go too grey and some brands go too brown. Um, so they've done a really good, like they've got a good situation at hand. Okay, 
so we're gonna go into the face before we really go into the eyes. What I have over here is this cover pot from Cuffs and Lashes. Um, I'm really, really impressed with Cuffs and Lashes is product quality, especially considering their price. And I think that they do a really, really good job at really quickly producing stuff also, na. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this little by little. Little, 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 little. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this little by little. You get it, right? No. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this here into the cut that's just under my cheekbone. I'm not really going too much with a heavy hand. You can immediately see. You can see the difference from this side. I have a natural, like a little bit of a natural shadow situation here. There's zero product over here for contour. Whereas here it's a little bit more heightened. You can see, like you can see it properly. Um, I don't usually contour my forehead or my temple or anything. So I'm going to skip that and I'm going to go into my jaw. I'll end up holding my face at a really, really weird angle for this on camera. I know, especially now that I'm wearing earrings at the moment gonna take some more the only thing with this product is that you have to take more product it's really pigmented but you need to take more product and build it up that's one of the things i've noticed about the cover pot which i really don't mind i think that you really truly get a bang for your buck so i'm done with this side i'm done with like the jaw i'm quickly gonna go over and replicate the same feathery soft motion. So I'm not going in circles because this is a cream based product that I'm using. Typically if I am using a powder, I go in soft circular motions here. I'm just going in soft strokes, but going in with a very, very light hand also. So whether I'm going like this or I'm going like this, either way I'm going in with a very, very light hand. And I kind of like this brush. The brush I'm also using actually happens to be from Cups and Lashes. It's the F019 brush. I'm gonna leave this here on the screen for you. It's got a really nice fit for my cheekbone. Like this is just like this. I'm not even pinching it right now. So I kind of like the way it fits into my contour area so nicely. Okay, as much as I would love to set this cream contour situation down with a powder product I could not find anything in the under 500 range or rather I don't have anything in the 500 in the under 500 range with me as part of my collection if you guys have any suggestions that you want me to get my hands on or would you like what you'd like for me to get my hands on in the under 500 range please go ahead and tell me down below in the comments um, in fact one of the things wait I should tell you what blush I'm about to use before I start jabbering and yammering and talking on basically using the 95 blush from uh, Lakme. This is in the shade Pure Rouge Blusher. That's a lot of excess product. Ta -da! Okay, that was a lot of like fallout. But we're gonna make this work, you guys. We are gonna make this work. This is a relatively um new addition to my uh to my vanity i got this about a month and a half ago i've used it a few times but not for a full-on have i used this for a full-on glam look yet sometimes i use so much makeup that i genuinely forget and then i have to look at the photo of a certain look in the minute i look at the picture of a certain makeup look then i know exactly what products i used when then i'm fine like then i'm totally safe um but i can't remember whether i've used this way if i look at a certain look i usually can give you a complete breakdown of what i used because then i register it right like with my own final look it's my job what was i about to tell you when i said wait let me get done with the blush situation and then tell you does this happen to you as well that you start seeing something and then you lose your trail of thought? Um, so like you can see, this blush has been really gentle and easy to work with. I like the way it's kind of gone on like a blur, almost like, you know, that paint me uh, my Windows ke computer, but when it was spray effect, tha tha, wo paint wale software, pe, paint wale app pe, kind of reminds me of that. I really, really like the way it's gone on. It's blended with the foundation really nicely. Of course, the foundation is from the same brand. You'll always notice products from the same brand go on from one to the other fairly, fairly easily. That's because the formulations are done to complement one another, typically. Um, I've gone really heavy handed on the blush and I know that some people don't like that and don't like that about me. But I feel like by the end of this makeup look, the blush dies down. And this is for absolutely any brand out there blushes are formulated in a way that they from everything on your face they will be the first thing to move 
right like to become lesser and become more sober on your face so i always go slightly more heavy on the blush which eventually becomes nice and normal anyway to be honest to be very 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 honest with you there's some fallout on this palette that i'm about to dive into um so yeah always go in a touch heavier on the blush and it will just sober down in you know half an hour 20 minutes depending on how long you take and just in case you're using a blush that is not softened on its own i mean if it's a cream blush so that won't happen i'm talking about powder bl blushes when i'm talking about that um it just in case it doesn't it's makeup you just need to go over with a clean sponge or a clean blush and it will come down very nicely i have yet another cuffs and lashes product over here in my hand this under 500 seems to be a video for these set of brands and i'm not complaining because i like them um i want to go in and do an eye makeup look that's really nice and slightly colorful but not too colorful i want a colorful meets neutral kind of vibe oh my god i just said to complete opposite things um let's see what we can do with this it's the summertime palette i have used this a couple of times before which is why there was some fallout kept from before uh i'm gonna start with going ahead with this soft brick coralish tone there aren't any individual shade names over here um but i'll go ahead and show you them in close up i'm starting out with just a soft application towards the outer two thirds of my eye this shade has like color in it but it's still quite a neutral i like that about it it kind of reminds me of boop from my bmll collection like from verified it's got a really nice soft brick tone and yet when you wear it it can be so neutral um but it's not like a simple neutral it's still got color in it which i really really like just giving myself a little wash over here back and forth uh wiper like motion you can see the fallout here though can you like there is definitely fallout with this but like i said if you're using a product that's in the under 500 you're gonna have to adjust on a few things which is okay you're getting a bang for your buck with pigmentation and blending it's just the fallout that you're gonna have to work with um i will definitely go ahead and add some more powder to my under eyes in a little bit but let's get done with this situation first anybody else that struggles with the baby hair because i know i do okay so i feel like i really like the way the color is sitting on my eye shadow right now but i need a little bit of that festive cheer on my eyes what i'm going to do is i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade in the middle it's got a little bit of a shimmery effect and it's pinkish yeah till now we were working with brickish corally i kind of just want to see how this goes with the other do we like it do we like it do we like it do we think it's like on the brush it's a lot more pink but when i'm applying it i think it's more like blending with my natural brown grayness and it's looking pretty similar to the other shade to the one we just applied previously when you're applying like a shimmery thing or going into the innermost corner you want to work with a brush like this this one over here is from sigma it's pencil e330 this is what it looks like it's got a really nice pointy head which will help you go into this innermost corner uh without struggling at all which is pretty cool which is what you need i'm also going to take that same shimmer and go a little bit lower just to open up my eye just to make it look a little bit bigger brighter okay so i'm pretty much done with the eye shadow look for now i am definitely going to go over to the under eyes and add a little bit more but what i do want to do first is go ahead and apply my liner i have this mars ink black liquid liner and i have like i'm 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 just in shock at the fact that they sell this for like 100 and something rupees i think it's like 150 160 rupees this is an indian brand but they make in china and uh, i bought a few of their makeup items a few months ago and then when they kind of saw that i bought a few makeup items they landed up sending me some pr after that also i have very mixed feelings about some of their eyeshadow palettes while some of them did work for me i feel like i talked about that a little bit on my instagram this liner pen for sure is something i can work with today um I want to do something interesting but not like unwearably interesting. So I feel like let's go ahead and do like a nice wing to start with and then let me figure where we can go from there. You know what? I think I'm just going to do a nice thick wing which is like my classic style. Um not like a 
experimental graphic wing but like a nice thick wing Okay, so I landed up giving myself a really nice thick long wing instead of doing like a just a little wing liner that I normally do. Something like this is so different from what I normally do, but still so classic. Um, I absolutely love the way it elongates my eye and lifts it. Make sure your wings are always pointing upward, or if you're someone who wants to go flat out, that's cool too. Just make sure they don't go downward. That's like the key thing to keep in mind. Now replicating this on the other eye is going to be the real challenge. I think I got them to match pretty damn good. However, I'm feeling a little bit of a mismatch between the bricky and the pinky finish now. So what I'm going to do is first off, go back to my loose powder. I feel like I just need to set my under eyes down a little bit more. Especially with all of that of expressions while trying to get my liner right and trying to do everything that I'm doing. And of course all that fallout as well. Okay, so I feel like I'm happy with that little situation over here now. What I'm going to do next is just take the end of the same sponge which is totally clean because this is actually a new one like I mentioned. And I'm just going to go over my blush a touch. I feel like it's not moving at all which is good for the blush but bad for what i'm trying to do so one second let me just take a huge face brush that i have and move it around a quick bit now i'm taking this small super tiny dome brush and going back into our og boop like eyeshadow that we have over here and i'm just gonna go ahead and it's just a wash, nothing else. Teeniest bit that just goes just below the waterline. Just for a wash. Nothing for definition over there as such, literally just for a wash. I'm taking the Curling Mascara from Lacme's Iconic Range. Now, this doesn't give the kind of volume that I typically like, but it's under 500. And at least it'll coat my lashes in a way that will add some more definition to them by themselves my lashes are pretty 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 limp so at least this will give it some kind of definition some ah did i just poke my eye with the mascara oh god is it on my lens <gasps> no okay we're okay i need to be more careful sometimes um just add some more dimension some more definition with this mascara and really going into it to try and optimize it i like the kind of curl it gives my lashes but the volume and length or anything is not much to speak of for my usual liking and i've been hooked to that pat mcgrath uh, mascara for a little while now since i got my hands on it um i feel like now that's the new standard um i have when it comes to the mascara world it is so good you guys like i'm so glad i made that purchase it feels so good, it applies so good and the Pat McGrath one of course is what I'm talking about and it also comes off really really easily. So this is what I really appreciate about this mascara. What it does to the lower lashes is just next level beautiful. It adds a lot of curl to the upper lashes as well but not enough just by itself and I'm not using an eyelash curler. I always say that my standard for a good mascara is one that doesn't need an eyelash curler. But what this does to the lower lashes is just so beautiful. In one touch it just goes ahead and curls them and because like again I have all of us have lesser lashes on the lower uh, lash line and shorter it also looks more voluminous it just has a really pretty like barbie type effect we're down to the last couple of steps i need to stop singing on camera um okay this is my second and my last little teeny tiny cheat for this uh, tutorial. This is 500 and something rupees. I'm using the K by Katrina highlighter. This shade is Honey Glaze. Um, this is a really, really good formula. I enjoy using this highlighter quite a bit. Oof, barely touched it. Can you see the shine? Can you see it? Um, excuse me. Do you see the way that's shining? And I touched it for what, five seconds, I think. 
it's such a good lay like laying on formula it goes on super smooth it's very very pigmented i love that it comes with a little mirror inside which is pretty cool um, i'm not using the mirror right now i'm using this bada wala mirror right now but i still appreciate it because every little detail you add to packaging adds to your cost also so whether the customer is using it or not is irrelevant to the brand that is an add on touch the brand that is an add on you know cost and i appreciate that the little details you guys the little details now i really really wish i could have had something to use as a spray at the end which i have not yet figured out an under 500 option for so that's going to suck but um, i'm happy with this look in general like by itself oh god i think i got some mascara over here damn it wait 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 i need to fix this Okay and now we move on to the very 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 last step which is always my it's usually my second last step right apart from the fixing spray that goes on next um I want to use the Maybelline Superstay ink next but I cannot figure out the shade name for the life of me so I'm just going to look it up online and add it on the screen of course for now let's just go ahead and apply this In case you're wondering my lip filler just feels fully fully gone literally nothing is left anymore it was i think i did a little too natural a job kyun bahut hi jaldi chala gaya but uh, yeah today's video i really really hope you guys enjoyed it and tell me what you think of this look down below in the comment section make sure you participate in the giveaway do not forget there's going to be giveaways in each and every video all the way through the 25 videos of vlogmas in addition to which i have some really cool stuff coming up on instagram as well so make sure you're following me there don't forget to check out the info box for links to all of the products that i've used on my face today and the where fam comment shout out for the day goes to hema shri thank you for always talking to me in the comments you guys i love reading liking hearing and responding to each and every one of you so make sure you keep that conversation going i love 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 the interactions we have in the comments i will see you guys in the next one thank you for hanging out with me bye